everyone, it's Natalie with Holy Jean. Nat, yep, I'm back. I'm trying to do this thing. Today we have Satoria. Once she gets on here, we'll start. Um, hope everybody's having a great day. I'm going to start. Let me, let me see if I can play her song here. Not play. <laughs> Six o'clock p.m. Message in my DM. You said you just got out of work. Wanna smile through, and I know I wanna see you. And that, my dears, is Satoria. <laughs> my name. Let me just give you a little bit of rundown of who Satoria is. She is a singer, songwriter, and model who fell in love with the way music made her feel at the tender age of six. Yes, six, everybody. Born in Florida, Satoria began singing in church and school choirs and also explored the art of theater. As she participated in many musical plays, with the attempts to master other instruments such as various percussion, keyboard, and the flute, she soon discovered that a pen, pad, and microphone were the only tools needed to make her statement. Raised in the Washington, <laughs> D.C. area, Satoria continued to make her mark by regularly performing with various bands along the East Coast, ex executing energetic and soulful tunes. Her first single, Shorty, released in May 2014, hit the ground running with international recognition and is also the soundtrack of the award-winning independent film, Love Him or Leave Him. The movie was awarded Best Original Score at the Philadelphia Independent Film Awards in May 2016. Hi, Victoria. Hello. 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 Are you in your car? I am in my car. Listen, girl, I'm out in these streets, okay? I got stuff to do. But I knew I could not, I could not miss this call. So I'm like, I'm multitasking. Is that what you're I am calling? Multi you're, is that yes. Multitasking? Yes. Girl, I have deadlines, girl. I got stuff to do. So, um, but I knew that I wanted to, you know, this is very, very important to me. So I pulled over <laughs> on the side of the highway. It's like, no. I am no, <laughs> no, but I am outside somewhere though. Yeah, no, I'm outside. Somebody <laughs> says, somebody says, number one best of, number one, number one of the best in DC. Oh, referring to you. Oh, hmm. thank you. What does that thank mean? Thank you. Is that freaky or what? No. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Look at your face. What just? Nothing. Well, no. Um. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> I said, is that freaky deaky? Anyway. Oh, I, uh, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> How are you? I'm great. How are you? You know me. Crazy Natalie. Yeah. Yeah. Back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, it's nothing wrong with being consistent. You know, if you <laughs> if you crazy, stay crazy. We need to know who y'all is anyway. Okay. <laughs> so oh, stay who you are. Sorry, <laughs> So, Satoria, you are a vocalist, a musician. You do it all. You're an entrepreneur. Now you're delving into the aromatherapy, the candle, the, and then you're making your own products. Um, yeah. So, tell yeah. us a little bit about this aromatherapy thing. Why did you get started in it? Um. Well, you know, we all need a way of woo sighing you know, and, um, and dealing with mental health. I'm really big on um, a positive mindset and positive mental health. And myself and, you know, a lot of us, we have suffered stuff like depression. I've, I've had a few bouts of depression without my life, throughout my life. And um, one way that I've learned, a natural way, um, is, to, is through aromatherapy and meditation, so it's kind of become a part of my life. Right. And when that happened, I actually work with an aromatherapist that's based in Philly. I go see her. Shout out to her. That's my 
that's my dog. <laughs> um, so the things that she would teach me, I'm like, well, dang, I'm sure that this would help someone else too. So, you know, I made a conscious effort that I wanted to create a project, create a product that can not only, you know, help me, but help others just relax, relate, and just really kind of get into, you know, more of your Zen. Um, the world is crazy. It's gotten crazier. Right. Um, since, you know, I've, I've, re I've gotten into my thing. So now if I need any type of, you know, mental health help, you know, we need it right now because a lot of things are happening. So, you know, that's how I got into the aromatherapy you know, arena. Yeah, and one of your products, um, and we've talked about this, but one of your products looks yummy. Looks yeah. Like right, absolutely. Um, so it's, it started, you know, the store that I own is called Key Elite Boutique. Key Elite started out with one item, and that was the candle. And it's my massage um, oil candle. And, it, you know, it's a three-in-one three candle. The scent that the... Um, the candle has, it's a scent that I actually created with my aromatherapist. So that's a, you know, it's a custom scent and it is to basically help you relax, you know, alleviate headaches, you know, the essential oils that we use, you know, they have a lot of different, you know, things that help with depression, anxiety, right. you know, but also at the same time, after you burn the candle, the wax, because it is made out of 100% coconut wax, coconut wax, and we do use soy wax as well. So those waxes are actually great for your skin. Right. So it's made out of, you know, essential oils and things like that. But also, you know, you have your coconut, you have your almond oil, you have your jojoba oil, things that are great for your skin and moisturization for your skin as well. So that's what makes it a three-in-one candle. It's a candle, it's a, um, a body balm, and it is a massage oil. I love that. Uh, three, Thank three, you. <laughs> Thank you. So, exactly. It's three-in-one. So we expanded from just the candle. Now we have body butter, you know, the Say My Name body butter. We have the body spray. We have room fragrances. You know, I have little pucker-ups that, you know, things that you can, um, if you're not into, like, um, incense and, and all the right. smoke from incense, I have the fragrance melts that you can just melt on your burner. You know, all of those are under that same Say My Name umbrella. But what you were just talking about, you were talking about something that looks yummy. Yes. That is my new product, my new body butter, extra whipped, you know, body butter. Um, it is, we have two different um, fragrances or, you know, um, flavors. I want to say flavors. You know, we're dealing with the chocolate, mint, chocolate, um, mint, milk chocolate and mint white chocolate. So they are extra whipped. They also have essential oils in there too. We have, we're using spearmint oils in that. So it, it will give you the same relaxation, but with a, with a little kick to it because, you know, spearmint, you know, it relaxes you, but also it gives you just a little bit of energy as well. So that's what that's given. And it's, it has like all natural ingredients for that. Everything I have, everything that we're selling right. in Keely Boutique, you know, everything is all natural. Everything is organic. Everything is clean. You know, we're into clean beauty. So, what yeah. So, that's what you're talking about. We are <laughs> my body butter line that has our dessert line, which is, you know, the mint milk chocolate and mint white chocolate flavors. Yeah. And all of this is for men and it's unisex, right? It's for men. It's for men and women. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love that. Now, I when you first started your whole thing, I did purchase something. Look, I took it out of the bag. The can What? <laughs> I took you have it a out candle. Of the bag. <laughs> I good for you. Of, I Thank took it you. Out of the bag today. <laughs> oh, good uh, the, girl. The, the, you bought that thing when I first launched it. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. That's when you first launched it. Um, yes. So it's the say my name, Satori. Yes. It says, "Love me." Uh oh. I even see, "Love me, excite me, seduce me." Aromatherapy massage candle. You still there you have, go. Do you still have these? Of course, of course. I, I still have, we, we still have the candles. We still have the body butters, the body sprays. We still have everything. Yes, since you've absolutely. Up, since you've upgraded to the whole body butter whipping things yourself, I was just like, um, huh, that's very interesting. Ah, yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, that well, listen, COVID, okay? COVID got people doing some strange things for some change, okay? But <laughs> no, it's it's really um it's given me the opportunity to um 
<laughs> get more in tune with the products that I'm selling. You know, um, it's different when you have someone else manufacture a product for you. You know, you're proud of it. It's great, but it's it's something that they made. You know, um, one thing that I discovered by making it myself, um, I've become even more proud of the product. Prouder of the product, if prouder, if prouder is a word, um, but. I'm more excited um, about my products now because I did it myself, right. you know, and I know exactly what was placed in it. I know how, exactly how much, you know, I know exactly what each ingredient does, you know, so I make a like, really conscious effort to make sure that, you know, when you purchase, you know, one of my body butters is going to make, you know, your skin soft. It's going to smell good. You know, it's going to be good for you. You know, I, I just, it, it's, it's a different type of feeling when you're all in, you know, 10 toes in. So that's where I am, 10 toes in. And that's where I want to stay, too. So, yeah. So you, like, since, since you're talking about seducing and all that stuff, that means <laughs> that the, the body butter, if you put it on your body, somebody can lick it off. Well, <laughs> you were reading off of the candle I, 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 label. I, 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 <laughs> And if you want, you can. You can lick it off. I mean, I don't suggest you just go around eating the stuff. But you know, it is. It's all. It is all natural. It is all natural. But you don't want to just, you know, gobbing on the, you know. Uh, maybe that's a new, listen, then maybe that's a new idea. That's a different. I mean, you could product. make it edible if you want to. Yeah, but you know, this is made for for you to leave it on your skin for it to, you know, do its thing. You know. Yeah, but if you take it off, the, <laughs> lick it off, somebody can go on somebody else. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to create a, I'm trying to create a new line for you, a separate line. Girl, listen. Look, eat something else, okay? Oh, Just put the body butter on. Put the body butter on. <laughs> but if you I mean whatever the heck you want to do. Look at look at your face. You like you say <laughs> and your your face is like only Natalie will come up with this something. Girl. Why not? <laughs> so I'm trying, crazy. Listen, I'm trying to create a different another line for you in the whole Say my name, body butter, put it on me, lick it off. Okay, so um, the other thing that you have is you have kind of an apparel line. Mm -hmm. So tell yes. us about that. It's a motivational apparel line. You know, right now we only have one um, one phrase, you know, hashtag hustle, which is something that, you know, right now, especially in COVID, people really, you know, they got on their business. You know, if you had anything that you ever wanted to do, you started doing it in 2020, you know? Um, so also it's, it's just a piece of, it's just a, a gentle, not a gentle, but it's a reminder that, you know what, just to stay on your grind, you know, no matter what it is. Um, if you're going to school, you're trying to make those grades to, you know, get a certain scholarship, but whatever you're doing, you know, you're hustling through that. You're getting through that. You could be a single mother with three kids and, you know, now you're quarantining with all that, you know, you still got to go to work. You still got things to do. You know, so it's basically just something to keep you on your toes, keep you on your grind. It's a great motivational apparel. Like I said, we're going to have other phrases as well as we continue on. But this, you know, it always starts with one. So this is the one that we have. So we have it in T-shirts. Um, we are going to be having hoodies soon. I, I have the hoodies, but, you know, they're going to be on the site, you know, in a, in a couple of months. Give me a couple of months for the hoodies. But the T-shirts are already out there. And we also have some up. Uh, uh, a few other things that we're gonna have that um that logo on as well so we're growing we're growing that's that's awesome if anybody wants to learn how to grind they need to come to you to learn how to grind because you're always listen you're always going a mile a minute always listen i can say the same thing about you sister you always doing something you know you're always doing you in it I'm telling you, you're always impressing me. You know, I, I stay impressed with you. I stay, you know, motivated, you know, by some of the things that you do. So I appreciate you for doing the things that you do and also, you know, giving back as well. So I, I, I appreciate that. You're a good sister. I try. And thank you for that. Thank you. You're thank welcome. you. Thank you. Now let's talk about your music career. Um, you re recently worked on a project. Tell me about that project. Yes. Um, well, I through because of you, you know, my dear friend, um, you know, you actually referred me or connected me with, um, you know, a 
musician, a songwriter, and his manager over in overseas in Ireland. You know, shout out to Kimberly and James. Thank you so much. Um, and they contacted me. They were looking for a singer. Um, I think they were doing they, they're doing um a compilation a compilation album. You know, James he writes music for different genres. They were looking for a, a, someone who can bring life into a soul song. Um, they contacted me. I listened to it. I'm like, you know what? Thank you very much um, for the opportunity. So now we have a song out. It's called So Real. Um, it's playing everywhere, you know, so just make sure you pick that up or you listen to it or stream it or whatever you got to do with it. Just do something with it, <laughs> you know, but, um, but we're, I'm really excited, you know, for the simple fact that um, I actually got the opportunity to work with an international songwriter, you know, which is, you know, totally phenomenal, um, a great experience, you know, and I we did it through COVID. So everything was like, you know, Zoom calls and, you know, it's not... I'm more of a touchy feeling person, just, you know, so used to being with people, right. you know, this was something that was different for me because everything was, you know, it was online, you know, we did everything online besides, you know, going to the studio, I was in the studio, but everything was online and the way that, um, it, the, the experience mm -hmm. of working with someone, you know, with the, the time difference and all that kind of good stuff. It was a great experience for me. And I really, um, it opened up my eyes to, you know, collaborating with other artists right. who are not within my, you know, direct reach, right. you know, people who are in a, different countries and we can collaborate with different sounds and, you know, come up with, with different ideas. So I, you know, it's, it's, it's been a total blessing. Um, so how have you kept up with your music during this whole pandemic? Have you been live streaming? Have you been doing vocal lessons? What have you been doing just to keep up with the whole music industry and your fans? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I've been writing. I've been writing a lot more. Yeah, so I, I'm really excited. I'm getting ready to release a, another single. Um, yes, it is called Back to Me. Um, so that's what the pandemic has, has done for me. Um, I haven't done a lot of live streaming, stuff, things like that, because I was, I've been getting in tune with myself, you know, right. because it's like COVID hit us like, what? <laughs> so, you know, we're all sitting around looking at first, and we just trying to figure out like well, what's getting ready to happen right. and everything was still, you know, so I wasn't thinking about making any moves because I didn't know what the hell was going on. <laughs> and so once I got a grip, like, okay, this is our new normal. Let me finally collect myself. You know, um, I, you know, we're walking a little slow because I'm, we're still like looking over our shoulders, right. like what's going on, you know, but within all of that, you know, that's when I was able to write um, the song that, you know, I'm recording now. It's It should be done in a few weeks um, and released in the month of um, April. So I'm excited. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> here you go. Um, so, the next so yeah. So I've time. been writing throughout the pandemic. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's what you should be doing. I need to write. I'm actually doing this challenge. I spoke to another young lady named Emily Anderson, and she did this 30-day challenge where she uh -huh. wrote um, uh, it's 30 songs in 30 days. I okay. I was going to start two Woo! days ago. I haven't because I haven't had the time. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to start Friday. Yeah. That's going to be the Oh, you go, girl. I'm yeah, I'm not that talented. I am not that talented to, you know, how you could just write a song like it's nothing. No. Girl, I got to take my time with it. I got to meditate. I got to think about it. It got to settle in my spirit. No, so, I understand. I understand. I, listen, I'm the, same, I'm the same way. I'm the same way. But yeah. I like the challenge. I need to write some new music. Um, so I, I, I like the challenge. I'm going to do it somehow. Maybe one of, the, one of the songs might have one word, and I'd be like, okay, that's a song. Um, but yeah, Girl. I'm going to try to do it. So the next That's question, awesome. I, yeah, I'm going to do it. Uh, not that I don't have anything else to do, because I have a trillion things to do, but I really want to do this. Sure. Now, I'm going to ask you your thoughts on this, because I've asked other people. I like to get their perspective. Now, did you watch the Grammys? I did not. Neither did I. Anyway, I did so... <laughs> I did watch, but there's a whole controversy out there because of the, the performance by Cardi B and Megan Stallion, the WAP, you know, the WAP thing. So let me, let me start. Let me. Okay. So I hadn't watched it. I watched it on YouTube and it is a bit risque, but mm -hmm. this is the genre. These are, 
This is who these people are. This is what they do. Mm -hmm. And the music mm -hmm. video has been out for months. So mm -hmm. you didn't expect what you saw on the stage. And I don't know what you were expecting. So people yep. have been bashing the, these young ladies, calling them names, this, that, and the other, which I don't think is, is fair. If they were going to get angry mm -hmm. with anybody, they should get mm -hmm. angry with the Grammys. They hired mm -hmm. them. They said, here, we would like you to perform this song. Mm -hmm. Bam. Now, Mm -hmm. that this Grammys is was interesting. This was the lowest ratings they've ever had. I don't know if it's because mm -hmm. of the pandemic. I don't know if it's because people are tired of seeing the same people win the same awards, the same performances, mm -hmm. all the same thing. Mm -hmm. But let's get back to Cardi B and Megan Stallion. Now, they're not my favorite artists. I don't really like the song itself. But, but, I hate when people try to tell artists what to do, how to create and mm -hmm. who to be. Mm -hmm. These women feel empowered by doing the things that they were doing and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So be it. And I know the conservative people, I understand the conservative side. I say if you're conservative, you're not going to like that performance. That's just what mm -hmm. it is. But where, what do you think about that performance? What do you think about empowerment? Do you find how they um, perform an empowerment move or do you think it's something else? Well, you know, getting back to the, the simple fact that people are upset about the whole performance, I'm with you. Um, they knew, the Grammys knew what they were doing. You know, they probably were trying to figure out a way to boost their ratings. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because, you know, that because you know, there are a lot of protests against the Grammys right now. A lot of people aren't watching it, and a lot of people aren't attending it. Right. A lot of people aren't submitting their music either. So, you know, I think they were like, hey, this is good TV. Right. Let's put, you know, Carby, you know what, you know what the song is all about. I mean, what they gonna come up in there with church robes on? <laughs> you know, they gonna get up there and do what they do. So, and that's what they do. And that's they did exactly when I finally saw it on YouTube too. They did exactly what they supposed to did. Right. So, you know, whoever's you know offended or whatever, then they now welcome to the world of Cardi B and, and Megan The Stallion because this is what they, they do. Exactly. You know, the they probably is. weren't they probably weren't familiar with them and their acting and what they you know, but. They did what they supposed to do. Um, so I'm not mad at them for being who they are. You know, and they and they got they get paid a lot of money for it too. So that's why they continue to do it. And um people you know, like the radio stations, they play it. They've yeah, already, know. you know, and, and they've gotten Grammys and awards for it. So it's like it's what? You know, it, it but um as far as the empowerment piece, um if that's how you want to express yourself, if that's how you express yourself or whatever, I think empowerment is about expression, right? right. Freedom of expression. Right. So, you know, in a way, yes, that is empowerment to them because that is freedom of expression for them. For someone else, freedom of expression looks like something else, yeah, right. you know? Um, and if you're able to do that without someone bashing you or whatever, you know, that's empowerment to you. So that's how I feel about that. Yeah, I had it the fifth child on Facebook. There was this long conversation about it. And people got nasty. People got hurt. Feelings were hurt and stuff like that. And um, and one person did contact me on the sidebar and messenger. You know, she felt really bad about some of the things she may have said. She might have interpreted something wrong. And here's what I explained to her about black women and sexuality. Back in the slave days, black women were raped their bodies were used. You know, they pushed out babies, babies were taken away from them. And I think some of this uh, sexuality, the empowerment using your, your sexuality stems from a lot from that saying, we're not going to be held down, we're free. We're sexually free. Mm -hmm. Because back in the mm -hmm. day, you used to suppress us. So we're going to be who we want to be and we're going to release that and we're empowered by that. So I give credit to Cardi B and Megan Stallion for, be able to, for being able to just let themselves be. This is who they are. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And like you said, um, empowerment is different for every individual. It is, mm -hmm. you know, me, it's not about running naked on the, <laughs> on the streets or on the stage or something like that. Mm -hmm. But I feel empowered when I help somebody else, especially mm -hmm. if I help another female or the men that are supporting the women. I love that. I love mm -hmm. helping everybody. So yeah. I, lo I, I get empowered by knowing that I am one of the stones that is helping somebody else to their success. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But I think yes. it's just said that people are always, obviously in the music world, you're going to be criticized for whatever. But when, yeah. comes, when, I, when I see other women bashing other women, and I think it's, it's sad. We don't all have to agree. 
but you can't tell mm -hmm. people how to live their lives. That's the bottom line. I don't know yeah. going to tell me how to live my life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, you know, yeah. But you know what? We are in the days of where everybody's a freaking critic. You know, everybody's a critic. You know, everybody has something to say. You know, freedom of speech. You know, they they ride that shit hard. So, <laughs> it's like, hey, no, really. You know, we look at it when uh, social media. You know, what I'm saying we got all these damn Twitter gangsters. Everybody got something to say about everything. Twitter you know, gangsters. so yeah. you said Twitter. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> people always. People have, you know, everybody got something to say. So that's something that you have to, um, it, it's the way of the world. We have to embrace it. You have to have, to toughen up your skin if you don't like it. You know, it, I know it's hurtful. It's hurtful for me sometimes when people, and I ain't nobody. When okay. people say crazy stuff, I'm like, you are right. you are <laughs> But you know what I'm saying? So I can only imagine when you have millions of followers with millions of different opinions and everybody got something to say about your child. Right. About your, you know, it's just, it's just, but at the same time, it's what you signed up for. Yep. That's, that's the lesson learned. The good, the bad, and the ugly. It's what that's, you signed up for. That's the lesson learned in the entertainment industry. It's like, mm -hmm. it's, it's like some mainstream artists, you know, they hate the fact that fans are all over them. And I don't agree that a fan should follow you in the bathroom. There's, you gotta respect somebody's face. But yeah. if it weren't for these damn fans, you wouldn't be where you are. Because the thing is, yeah. it's because of your sales, your charts, or, it, or your movie sales or whatever, that you're getting more jobs. And you know that why? Because there are people yeah. watching it. They like you. Those yeah, are, because you're, you're popular fans. now. It's a popularity contest. We all yeah. in high school, girl. We are at high school. So it's a popularity contest. Yes, it is definitely a popularity contest. But people mm -hmm. need to understand that people, that's why, when, you know, with the whole social media thing with artists, they tell you, you know, you have to give a little bit of yourself because people want to feel like they know you. They want to engage mm -hmm. with you. They want to say, oh my God, this artist. I'm, I, I feel the same way that she does or yeah. the aromatherapy thing. My God, I really want to do it. Let me learn from this person. So we mm -hmm. all are stepping stones to uh, somebody else's dreams. That's what people don't yeah. understand. We are all stepping stones to somebody else's dreams. And so people yeah. really need to understand this whole dynamic. The music business is so hard. It's a lot yeah, it is. of work. And yeah, it is. Aromatherapy, all th these businesses, it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. So if you really want to do it, you're basically, that's your passion. That's your desire. Yeah. That's your destiny. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I applaud the people that are following their dreams. You know, what, yeah, is, yeah. What, is, what is one message that you will give to somebody that's trying to fulfill their dreams? Never give up. Life is going to happen. You know, people are going to come in your life. People are going to go out of your life. You may, God forbid, you lose your job. You lose your car. Your kid's acting crazy. What? It's going to... Life gonna happen. You, you know, uh, it, it, there may come a time when you will lose one of your parents. Right. You know, there's a time when you're gonna have to jump up and move. You know, you just. Um, but I'm just saying, no matter what, you have to keep going, no matter what. That's all I gotta say. I mean, you're gonna get your haters. Woo. You know, your family members are gonna Amen. surprise the hell out of you. People who you thought was rocking with you, they are gonna stop rocking with you. You know, and sometimes you feel like you don't want to do it anymore because it's like you, damn. You know, I'm by myself now, right. you know, but that's when you become stronger. That's when you got to dig deep. That's when you got to put on your hustle game. And that's when you really, really follow your heart and, right. you're, and you're more focused, too. Because sometimes all of those people, all that shit, they're all distractions. That's so right. you have to just stay focused. And sometimes God will remove certain things out of your life. It may hurt because Amen. you don't understand. Because you don't understand. But listen, let me tell you. Trust the process. <laughs> Trust the process. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I got to say. <laughs> crazy. All right. Yeah. Tell, everyone, tell everyone where they can find you on the internet. <laughs> Cool. Well, you can follow me on, um, I am on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, um, at Satoria, and that's S-E-T-O-R-I-A. I, you can find me on, um, I'm on YouTube too, Satoria the Vocalist. Um, so there it is. Also, you know, check out my store, shopkeelite.com. You know, the title of love my boutique is Key Elite Boutique. Once again, shopkeelite.com. And Key Elite is also on Instagram, 
and Facebook. Gee, you're on all the social media platforms. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's Victoria.net. <laughs> I forgot my own website. <laughs> Victoria.net. That's what happens. Well, Victoria, Girl, thank you so too much, much going on. Thank you so much for being on Chatting with Net. Oh, um, thank you. It's always an honor. Thank you for doing the blog talk the other day. That was awesome. Everybody needs to check that out and chatting with Nat on blog talk. Yeah. Radio. Nathalie Jean. Yeah. That's me. And if you ever want to be on Instagram live with me, just dig me. Really. Or you can go to www.sistersinmusic.org and find us. And I'm going to play her music. Until next time. <laughs> Thank you, Nat. I appreciate you. That's the video. This video is out. Yes. All right. I'm about to get out of these streets. All right.